If you enjoy my content, please subscribe and like to my channel. It means so much and it helps me out so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hello boys, uh, tonight it's time for another video of Saber Simulator. Uh, a game I feel have lost some of its appeal lately. Uh, I used to be on the strength leaderboard and coins leaderboard, but I just can't get myself to play this game anymore. Uh, and the reason why is that it's so easy. It's so easy getting uh, max sabers and max class. And basically, after you get that, there is nothing to do. There's nothing that keeps me coming back from day to day now. If I were to play this game, I would just be standing. I would be standing like uh, up here 100% of the time. Just spamming. Spamming this. And this is what I would do for a whole week until the next update. As you can see, this is not very fun, and that is why I have moved to other games like uh, Ninja Legends, Arcade Simulator, etc. Um, anyway, I, I do have a couple of ideas that could make this game a little bit better, and that would make me come back to it, to play. Um, the first idea is to bring back the sand island. I really liked that concept of having a contested area that gave you a, a huge boost to, to something. Like, you took the risk of getting killed, but by doing so, they rewarded you with a very nice strength boost per swing. It, it was 20 times compared to the max island which at that time was eight so if you wanted strength that that island was the place to be and that was so good especially since there was a nice reward and risk ratio on it so by bringing back the island it will become more fun uh, also the second suggestion is I think they should improve pre uh, pet chances a little bit. Uh, 0.003, that's so low. Um, it, it's so low that even if you stay here for like a whole update, that's one week. It means like you're likely not gonna get a void or rainbow triple moon even if you stay here all the time um, I think it would be a good balance that if, if you were to farm this pet for a long time you should get rewarded and this percentage is so low that you basically have to trade for it and as we know trading in Saber Simulator is horrible you, you get scammed like half the times so they really need to like increase their chances, but but not by much, of course. We don't want people to have void everything, like the void uh, gift explosions. Oh, I am sorry, I killed someone. Anyway, um, the next one, they really need to work on these prices. Some weeks it takes two hours to max them out. Next week it takes ten hours to max them out. Ten hours is where I think it's a very good time. If if take ten hours for like a full time player, if you can call someone that, that means it will take like two to three days for a more casual one to reach it. And I, I feel that's a good balance. We don't want people reaching this. Like, like on the last update within five minutes. I mean five minutes. That's laughable I, I ranked up to snowman and within five minutes. I've gone through all of these That's not how How it's supposed to be because of the five minutes I, I sat there thinking like hmm 
What should I do now? What should I do now? There's nothing left. Like I said in the beginning, all that was left was to just be on island 72 and farm eggs while swinging. And that's not a very fun game, <laughs> is it? So that brings us to my second best uh, suggestion, actually. And that is quests. I really want quests in this game. Like you can see on Nina Linus 2. There are quests there that, that keep me coming back every time to finish this quest. Uh, they're part of a leaderboard and they also bring in some nice bonuses. Like if, if you finish a quest, you either get coins or... Um, or you get Charles, which is the same as crowns. Or you get tokens, which um, there really aren't anything uh, equal in Saber Sim. But but it could be like some other prizes, maybe a pet for for a really hard quest. You could get a rainbow double moon or something if you like uh, kill the boss. 50 times in a day or something um, there is so much to do with quests and rewards that I, I think players would will love this so so it would definitely be worth checking out for HD games I think um, and quests would add so much value to the game and it shouldn't be too hard to implement. I think everyone would grind more. Especially if the prices were fairly balanced. It made like weekly quests. And there was one really hard quest each week. That gave you a good pet. And then there was a couple easier ones. That gave you coins or crowns. And yeah. Yeah you, you get the point. So... So as we can see on Ninja Legends 2, the quests are here, like, you should earn a couple shards, you should max level a pet, you should earn elements, now I've done all my daily quests, but also there's a weekly quest that gains you coins, tokens, you get more tokens, and so on. So, my last suggestion. That is to make something about the boss. The boss here, he is so boring. Um, he basically just walks around doing absolutely nothing. Let, let's have a look. Look at this. How fun is this boss? You basically just hit him until he, he dies. If you're strong enough, you can place the shakta here and then just go AFK. Since no one can kill you and you will get all the rewards. And the boss doesn't even drop anything good. L like, alright, I am pretty low on crowns, so... I need crowns, so the boss is good for me. But but the players that have like N crowns doesn't need to kill a boss. Um, so it would be fun if like the boss could drop pets. Imagine if the boss drops pets with with, with like one one percent of a triple moon. 5% of a double moon, etc. Um, or maybe he could like drop a boost or something. Just anything to, to make him more fun. Because right now, all you have to do is like stay there until he dies. Um, it would also be fun if the boss was more interactive. Like, like he could fight you back. 
if we could fight you back and send you out of the area, that would make it more harder to just farm him by staying in the middle. Because he couldn't do that anymore. Um, I'm not saying he should be able to kill you, but he should be able to, like in Nina Linus, to send you away on some of his attacks. So, so you have to get back in there. We also have this boss in Ninja Legends 2 that, that is more interactive, like you can't just stand here and farm him because he will send you away from time to time since he does this attack. Just look. And then he fires missiles and if they hit you like this, it will send you away and there's no way you're gonna hit the boss from there. So you actually have to be here for the whole fight which it's pretty long, <laughs> actually, as you can see, uh, I've been in for like um, almost a minute soon and he's down by like 1% or, or 2% but, but, but you get it and uh, when he's dead he will drop tokens for everyone that has been part of the battle can claim. And that's a nice addition, and that makes me want to go back to him a bit more. Um, Alright, that was my five suggestions. Do you have any su suggestions you would like to see in this game to make it more competitive and more fun again? Please comment below. Uh, because I'm... I really want this game to be fun again, and I really want to see what you guys think could make it fun again. Anyway, that's all for me. I hope you stay tuned for my live streams and come watch my future, future videos and the videos I have already posted, of course. So, I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you.